Here's our Coindesk Bitcoin news roundup. Intel is getting out of the Bitcoin mining game as it discontinues its Bitcoin mining chip series. Intel's chips could have broken an effective duopoly in the market dominated by Bitman and MicroBT. But for now, miners will, be, will no longer be able to look at Intel for their ASIC semiconductor needs. Elsewhere, Bitcoin financial services firm Unchained Capital raises $60 million. Unchained Capital has completed a $60 million Series B funding round led by Valor Equity Partners and asset management giant Nidig, the company said in a press release on Tuesday. The company provides a collaborative Bitcoin custody solution that shares control of a user's Bitcoin between a private key that, user hold, that the user holds and private keys held by Unchained or other financial service providers. It's a notably large fundraise given the extent of the crypto bear market that in the first third of 2023 is only beginning to show signs of turning around. And lastly, government. GG's for GG. This morning, SEC Chair Gary Gensler testified in front of the House Financial Services Committee and during the testimony, Gensler repeated statements to the crypto industry to come in and register with the SEC. He also had a little bit to say about crypto and banks, and let's hear what he had to say about that. Take a listen. There were three banks that failed uh, in those handful of days, those last those four or five days. In two of those banks, the first and the third that failed, Silvergate and uh, Signature, were engaged in the crypto business. I mean, some would say they were you know, crypto banks. And the third, the biggest, Silicon Valley Bank, actually, when it failed, you saw this country's, the world's second leading stable coin, uh, had $3 billion involved there, DPEG. So it's interesting just how this was all, Thank had some crypto Thank you. narrative as well. In classic government fashion, that testimony is still ongoing, even though it began at 10 a.m. There's a testimony, another testimony tomorrow in front of a subcommittee committee of the House Financial Services Committee, which will be about stablecoins, which you can read more about on Coindesk.com.